so I got a scythe on order. I'm gonna come out and scythe the, the lawn, maybe rake up the, the hay that we've created, which we've already started doing from what the mower wasn't processing. Getting the weeds taken care of. Getting the weeds taken care of. Mm -hmm. Not much grass. Though. Uh, grass. So we already started raking up some of this hay. And we don't have any animals to feed it to. This is just a little bit from this corner. There's more over there that I haven't raked yet. I might, uh, I gotta find something to do with it though. We were talking about how long would it keep, but I don't think it's gonna keep long enough for us to even worry about keeping it for some animals. So I might use it to cover more of this, the walking area of this garden, so this grass and weeds and stuff stop popping through. I got my push mower the other day which is helping me get to some hard to reach places in the lawn where the zero turn can't get to. We are watching Rob mow the yard. I told him that I wanted it mowed around the trees. He was scared to do that though because the ticks here are really, really bad, but he is over there doing it and is being such a champ about it. There he is. Over here since Rob is busy. He is having Brayden and Robbie pick weeds and grass out of his garden. So there they are doing that. I still gotta get this belt put back onto the zero turn because right now the grass is get a little taller and I really need to get back out here and get it down to a low level before it gets out of control. Here's the new belt I have to put on following this diagram right here. Let's see if I can do it. All right, the belt is on, so let's pray that it works and doesn't break. I'm serious. I'm serious. I do not want this thing to break. Because that would mean that something else is probably seriously wrong with it. Seriously wrong. I don't want that. Let's try it out. It is dark, so I had to call it quits. And the yard is pretty much almost done. I mean, there were some spots out back I still was afraid to hit because the grass was still really tall. And I'll probably hit it with the push mower first, kind of pop it up at an angle and hit it and then drop it uh, to get it down to a low level before I actually go ever over it with that zero turn. Because after talking to people, it's probably the grass being too tall that broke that belt. 
So I want to make sure I don't do that again. Since the last update, we did get the schoolroom set up for the most part. Um, so, you know, that was one of the wife's to-do list. But I still have a whole pile of to-dos, so I got to get working on those. Uh, not tonight, but got to get working on those because the wife really wants those things done. Also ordered some ring security lights because us city people, are, city folk, we're just not used to how dark it is out here. So we got some smart ring lights, uh, one of their new products that include the bridge and some of the smart lights. We also got a spotlight cam, which is not one of the new products, but it'll be really cool to have. And be able to see people and get alerts when they're coming up the driveway before they even get to the front door and the ring doorbell sees them. So I'm gonna go get cleaned up, make sure I'm tick free cause I'm kind of scared. Just got out of that crazy yard. All right, so I'm washed up and no sooner in my room third mouse this week wednesday we found a mouse thursday now friday today uh the first mouse wednesday we were uh still like half asleep in bed waking up it's like not even six in the morning yet i'm hearing this sound like Ch -ch 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 i'm looking at our uh birds like that's not a normal bird sound we have two birds in our room so look at them like, what's going on? Nothing. And uh, lay back down, start hearing the noise again. And then Morgan yells something like, it's a rat, it's a mouse, something. Our curtains are glowing just lightly from the sun coming up. And you see the shadow of the mouse climbing up the window. So Wednesday night, that was Wednesday morning. By Wednesday night, we found it. I'm an awesome mouse captain. <laughs> and uh, caught it in the bucket. This very bucket. <laughs> bucket. Put a piece of cardboard underneath, threw it outside. Thursday morning. Oh. Was it Thursday morning? <laughs> Actually, it might have been this morning. It might have been Friday morning. Woke up. There's another mouse in the house. I assume it's a different one. It's mm -hmm. dead. So one of the cats got to it. And then now another one in our bedroom. So we think that they are coming in through this hole in the floor which goes right down the cross face so I got to get some foamy insulation or something to to put in there to try to prevent them from coming out all right I am back outside in the pitch black really need those security lights because it's hard to see we have this light and it just kind of glows yellow and you can't see anything over here on the porch so, yeah, I'm going to put a security light on the side of the house. It's going to shine this direction. There's the porch light for the front door way over there. But I was sent out here for a book. So we have a solution for the mouse problem. Oh, look, a spider. We are going to put a, the same bucket, or at least one of those same style buckets that we caught the first mouse in, over that hole, set a brick on it, and hope that no more come in. I'm hoping that's the only place they're coming from. Seems like a pretty easy access hole. There's wires coming up through the floor. They could just climb up the wires and right through the hole. It's giant enough for them to get through. So let's fix that. Uh-oh. That's not going to work. Oh, yeah, it's not going to work. The phone lines are hanging out. All right, got to get this. Well, this one must be in a stud or something because it will not pull out. They have managed to catch the mouse in the bucket. Shake it. Let's hear it thump. All right. Let's, all right. Throw it outside. Throw it outside. Open the door. Don't I, Open use the door. Another, I use a nerf gun to scare Robbie, off the Go and like and then. Put your shoes on. Yeah, you're gonna have to walk in the grass. <laughs> oh, those horse boots look great on you, Robbie. I know, aren't they awesome? Mom, it ran out. Let's see that baby bat. All right, like chuck it or something. You're really just gonna let it go. Okay, go away. Never return. Bye. Don't chase it back to the house.